Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Why do I get the giggles? My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. There's a window open. I hope no one can hear me. Today we are going to be doing some Olympic themed nails. I'm starting with Alaska, which is a gel perfection polish, as are all the polishes in this video. And you can get them at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a little discount. I have done two coats of that on all five nails. I'm now taking Midnight Blue and I'm going to write Tokyo down the center. I wanted the letters to be quite sort of thick and blocky. I started with the K because it's the centre letter, but it didn't leave me much room for the T. But I thought if I start from the T, I'll I won't leave enough room for the last O. So it we 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 made it work. Um, so I have sped this up a smidge because I don't really know what to say about it. I'm just drawing letters. <laughs> I'm starting start with the letter thin first and then build up the thickness. Um, does that count as a, a piece of advice? Mm, I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to, I don't know if you've seen the Olympic logo. How are you? Are you okay? Sorry, I haven't asked. I hope you're all okay. Did I? Anyway, um, the Olympic logo, I looked at it in great detail and it is a very dark navy because that means something in Japan. I can't remember what though. Um, and... The logo itself, not symmetrical in any way, it looks it to the naked eye, but if you look into it, if you're planning on painting it onto a nail, it's just, it's just, it's tricky. There's some patterns that are repeated, but it just kind of, I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. So I'm going to take elements of that and I'm going to do my own kind of interpretation of it. So I will cure the did I flash cure these letters as I went I think so um and then I'm going to just do lots of little kind of rectangle shapes long ones skinny ones short ones fat ones <laughs> um <laughs> and then there there are some of them that are those what's that shape called that's like a triangle with its head cut off trapeze no I don't know don't really care um, that's a lie. I will have to Google this. <laughs> um, so there are some shapes like that. And then just put a whole bunch of them on there. I was considering doing some kind of floating around that weren't stuck to the side. But um, I thought it might get in the way of the letters and kind of lose them a bit. So we'll chuck a bunch of those on and then cure it. And then I, I don't do the sort of topping until the end because I didn't know whether I wanted to do matte or shiny or a bit of both which I think is what I did um oh me saying um we've got a hater today it's a good one I mean it's not a good one they're all good because they're all idiots um but it's a, a funny one I think so that's going in the lamp and then I'm just going to pop it aside because I don't know what I want to do with you yet Tokyo sorry off you go and then the next one we are taking siren and I'm going to do just a, a wiggle that wasn't planned I mean it was planned for me to do a wiggle but I didn't sort of plan out how and where but uh, any old shape just to just make sure that you've got enough room to do the other colors as well because we're going to do the colors that are on the Olympic rings so I will I half cured that just for 30 seconds and then taking summer vibes and blackout and then oh yes in this video I use Barbados as the yellow because it's new and I wanted to use it um, but I did end up going over all the yellow bits which wasn't actually that much at the end because it just didn't it just didn't suit it I don't think so I switched it for what do I change it for in the end La 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 la, Miss Sunshine. Uh, so these are the colours of the Olympic rings. The red, what colours are there? There's red, uh, the, the red, the black, the, ye the yellow, stop naming colours. <laughs> green, let's go with green. <laughs> green is for Australia. 
The black is for Africa, the red is for America, North and South, the yellow is for Asia, and the blue, my favourite colour, is for me! Me Europe, not me Joe. <laughs> Australia, Asia, America, Africa versus me! <laughs> that would not... <laughs> That would not be a very decorated Olympics for the Blues. <laughs> not really fussed about the Olympics. Is that bad? I mean, I watched a fair bit of it when it was over here in London 2012. God, our logo was awful. Everyone was like, what the f*** is this piece of Sorry to the person who designed the logo. I'm so sure you're a lovely person. It was probably some sweet kid and here's me being a dick about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of awful. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't watch, don't watch so much of it. I like the gymnastics and the tennis, obviously, definitely going to watch tennis. Uh, but everything else, meh, I'm not, you know, I'm not really that fussed. Um, but it'll make a nice set of nails. <laughs> so I've cured that, full cured it now, and I'm taking nothing. I'm wiping, <laughs> I'm wiping and buffing because look at this. This isn't why I'm wiping and buffing, but we, we'll get to that. Uh, these are some flames, flame boy, um, hollow flames from Diamond Glitters. And I, I had an idea for this and I ballsed it up completely. Oh yeah, so that's how I drew, <laughs> that was me, I forgot to press record. So a little Y with like three hats on top of it getting smaller. That's how I did that with the yellow. Um, and then I'm topping, I've cured the yellow. That, that went too quickly, I'm sorry. I did a Y and then three lines and each line got smaller and that was the top of the, this is the torch. I've cured the yellow and I'm going over it with foil it. I can't see exactly where I'm going over it because foil it is clear, but uh, doing our best. And then that cures for two minutes. And the reason we have um, buffed the nail, wiped and buffed the nail, is because I'm now going to use a foil over the foil gel. I know, bizarre. Um, but I put, I didn't want it to stick anywhere else, so I wiped and buffed everything. I mean, you could top and buff, but you know, there's just an extra coat that you don't need. Why am I taking so long doing this? Get the fuck on with it, Bridget. Um, and then I'll use the gold foil that I've got to go over the torch handle. I did not, <laughs> I did not look at any pictures for this apart from the picture of the logo and the, for the colours of the rings. I didn't look at a picture of an Olympic torch, but this is in my head. Didn't it look like that when they're all holding? I'm sure it does. I watched the procession of, I think it must have been, I don't know, but Federer was holding the Swiss one. So that's probably why I was watching the um, procession is that what it's called when all the countries come out holding their flags and stuff um, and I'm sure they're all holding torches like this maybe I don't know um, I went over that hollow flame I mixed some orange with some clear with some base coat because I thought it would give it kind of a hollow orange flame but I did not like it but I had cured it so I'm now just going over the whole thing so you wouldn't have to use a flame sticker unless you wanted to keep it hollow or if you want to use it as a template for painting your flames. Because I don't think my flame would have looked um, as kind of flame-esque as this one. So I'm now taking the Barbados again and the Siren. And kind of messing this bit up as well. I was hoping to get an orange blend in the middle because they're both still wet. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> so, well, I did, but not the orange I was hoping for. So I cure that and then kind of add a bit more red and a bit more yellow. And then I add in some more orange. I was just faffing. Let's just say what it is. I was faffing. Uh, so that, that was cured. And then I'm adding yellow and red. This is what I was doing. I was trying to get a different result by doing exactly the same thing. And then realized that's stupid. So I manually added some orange. Oh, alarm. Shh. Um, and then, yes, this is heat wave. I, have I cured the red and yellow there? I don't think I have. No, I haven't. Um, so then I was kind of happy with the way the flame looked then. Or I was just fed up with doing it. So that had a cure. And then I think I put that aside as well. Because, again, I didn't know what I wanted to 
have shiny and matte. Obviously, I want the gold foil to be shiny. So we'll we'll get there when we get there. You'll just have to stick around. We need to do lovers and haters. We need to get going on it, don't we? What's happening here? Oh. Oh, okay. We're not finished with this one yet. <laughs> um, I'm topping with diamond glass. Of course, of course. And then I'm going to buff, which is fine because we only buffed earlier, like wiped and buffed. We didn't top and buff, so we're not getting too thick. So I'm topping and buffing because I want to outline the handle, the torch, um, and I didn't want to paint onto foil. I just, it won't sit very well. So I topped and buffed and then we can outline this with blackout. And then I think I'd probably leave it at that and then we go back to it after. Shall we do an episode of Lovers and Haters? Let's! Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. So our first lover of the day is... Nailosophy Scotland says stunning nails. <laughs> I used to sleep shop because remember I said the my other video that at 4 a.m. I bought an expensive painting. Um, I used to sleep shop. I wouldn't know what I was doing it. I would buy the most random things. My ex boo boyfriend always thought I knew full well what I was doing until one night he woke up and I was on Amazon and realised I wasn't actually awake. I once bought a single button. <laughs> I love it. We've got another funny one of those coming up um, after our hater. <laughs> one lonely little button turning up in the post. Probably cost about 40p, 6 95 postage. <laughs> anyway, so we did some detail on the torch handle and cured it. And then we, we've put it to the side with the rest. And now I'm taking Barbados and a dotting tool. I'm just creating... A dot that's going to be the bottom of our medal the reason I did that first was so I knew how much room I had to do um, these stripes depending on how big I wanted the medal so I haven't cured the yellow yet I'm just going to add the red swirly swirl and a half cure again so 30 seconds and then we'll do the green 30 seconds black 30 seconds and so on so while we're doing that should we have our hater let's have our hater we had a message that read what was it video it was on i think that's irrelevant um and the message said stop saying um it's annoying good vid but i had to watch it on mute and cry apparently um well um <laughs> you can't tell me what to do you're not my real mum. <laughs> but uh, there were so many angles that I could have approached the uh, reply from. But I just made the executive decision. Instead of saying, you know, who the, what the, what, why, you don't, what, come on, come on now. Come on. Um, I just kept it simple. So I replied to her and she's gone. So bye see bye I certainly won't be changing the way I speak for some rando on the internet who gets so offended by it they have to leave a comment about it i just don't care um and it's and it's difficult to talk about you know nails i'm doing the same thing with the yellow that i did with the black that i did with the green that i did with the red and i'll do the same thing with the blue just you know there's gonna be some ums and that's just the way it is so don't watch that's fine that's fine with me so um this blue one is the last stripe and then I'm going to add some I'm using the midnight blue again which is the same color from writing Tokyo and I'm going to add the metal straps uh what is it called metal string necklace whatever I don't know um and then fill those in and then I'll cure them and then I add some white in the middle I know could have just not filled in the whole thing and not had to add white but this is how it unfolded then I'll add some white in the middle and cure that and then I'm going to add and the white I add I'm going to do it thick enough to be two colors wide two strips of color that I want so I want a wet a wed a wed and a right a red and a white um because the red won't show up very well over the the midnight blue so I'm going to do the white big enough to accommodate having the red stripe as well and then I realized that the blue the navy blue had kind of got a bit lost so I added a bit more of that um 
but there you go so that's what's happening now it's oh my goodness something's happened on my beach i mean it's nothing drastic but it's the sea has basically dumped a shit ton of seaweed on the beach and it stinks i mean fish can smell is that what they're smelling all the time Although well, they're kind of used to it, aren't they? Maybe they think land smells weird. Although if a fish is on land, probably not so much thinking about the aroma <laughs> as it is flapping around trying to get back into the water. Like that fish that I saved in the video, which you can find on the Dexter Dog and Random Stuff playlist. And somebody commented on that video once. Oh, we've got another lover to do. We'll get there. Um, saying that... Uh, Throwing the fish back in the sea probably wasn't the best course of action. <laughs> Where was I supposed to throw said flailing fish? A fucking wall? <laughs> anyway, yeah, the seaweed, the, there's not going to be a tide. <laughs> Just launch it at the wall. Good luck! Oh no, he didn't swim off. He splattered and died. Um, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, so it's there's not a tide. There's not a high high enough tide due soon to take it back out with it. So every time the tide goes out, when the tide's in, it's fine. You can't smell it because it's covered by the sea. But when it goes out, it kind of smells a bit sewagey, um, which was really grossing me out at first. But I just have to remind myself it's just seaweed. It's not anything disgusting, but it is pretty rancid. Um, and having to have the windows open because we're having a heat wave. Oh my word, it's hot. I did the foil it. Whoops, what's happened? I wiped and buffed and then foil used foil it over the yellow and then added the foil onto it. And now I have topped and buffed because we're going to outline the middle and draw a little number one in it. And you know what's really bugging me is the strap strap there we go the strap on the right that bit of blue on the right of the right that needs to be longer and it's not touching the middle it's really annoying me um i'll get over it don't worry but do better so i've outlined with blackout and i'm going to draw a little number one if you don't want to be fancy you can just draw a straight line but i was not so much feeling fancy as i was just faffing just that 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 thing and then cure that and then I decided you know we need more detail so I'm going to do a thin circle inside that one which is a really bad idea because I didn't really leave enough room for it and then outline the number one and then I think that's going to be set aside as well have we only got one left maybe no two um um who's counting how many times I say um now stop it um <laughs> yes and then we'll pop that aside until we know what we're going to do with it obviously the the gold metal the gold foil bit will make sure it stays shiny so i'm now going to do i'm going to do the olympic rings but i'm not going to do them in their the way they're meant to be in that three along the top and then two hanging off them because i thought if i did that straight on i'd have to do it really small and if I did it sideways, oh, well, I just didn't want to. And I thought what you could do here is, if you don't like drawing circles, like me, I don't know why I didn't do this. Um, I think I just have a bit of a love-hate relationship with stamping and I wasn't willing to risk getting stressy. So I've got a stamping plate from Clear Jelly Stamper and it's all circles and dots. So you could stamp circles where you want them in like a pale color and then paint over them with polish but i thought you know let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit and try and freehand some circles was it a wise idea probably not does it look okay yeah it's all right so i'm flash uh, half curing sorry these um as i go and then you want each circle to be overlapping another one and at the same time having one overlap it so i do correct see the yellow one is completely sort of the blue ones on top of it so i fill in a bit later on just to make it so that it goes over some of the blue and under some of the blue uh, so this black one is going 
under the yellow and then I'll bring it over the green on one side I think do I I don't know um, <laughs> I'm just just saying what I think should be done I can't remember if that's what I did or not but they were a bit of a pain to do I did the red one about three times while I'm doing that let's have another lover let's have another lover we had a message from oh this is funny it was another late night shopping <laughs> message and it says uh, it's from Jen Greenhall. She says, totally understand the late night purchases. I'm getting like $100 worth of knee socks in a few days in Texas <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, enjoy your knee socks in Texas in the summer. <laughs> oh, $100 worth of socks. Mind you. Oh, my goodness. Every birthday, when people ask me what I want for my birthday, which is on Monday, by the way, what are you all getting me? <laughs> Seriously, what are you getting me? Um, they they ask me what I want, and I say I want bamboo cotton socks. They stay soft forever. They don't get tight and straight. I have a thing about socks. It takes me a lot longer than it should to decide which socks I'm going to wear every day. What do I want my socks to say about me that day? Am I in a giraffe mood or a Snoopy mood? Perhaps I'm in a Harry Potter mood. I, you know, I just, it takes, it takes time. <laughs> so I, um, I can understand spending a lot of money on socks. Not so much the spending a lot of money on socks in Texas in the summer, but socks, yes, because bamboo socks are so much more expensive than regular socks. <gasps> oh, I need to tell you about the moon in a minute looking amazing no no time um i've added some more of these shapes these trape tra tra trapezium 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 i think it's called a trapezium and some rectangles just sort of it was looking a bit sparse that nail with the rings and i wanted to detract from my poor circle skills so i added some more of those kind of shapes from the logo and that will tie in with um so that will tie in with the tokyo one the colors tie in with the other one so it's kind of bring it all together it's always nice to have a bit of something that's on one nail if you're doing nail art to sort of put it somewhere else in the nail as well kind of it's just a little nod to it like oh, i see you I see you with your, with your blue trapeziums. I've got them too. You know, that sort of thing. So this is the last one before we decide how to top them. Breathe. And this is Aruba, is it? Yes. And I'm going to do half this. I messed this up kind of. It, was, it wasn't a big deal. Um, I'm doing half or just above half in the blue. And then I'm neatening up the line with a detail brush and I'll cure that and then I'm taking Alaska and I'm going to do half of the Union Jack which is a combination of the um, English flag the England flag and the Scotland flag there's no Welsh Welsh symbol or like colors because they were already part of the kingdom of England when the flag of Great Britain was created. <laughs> Sorry, that's my that's my laptop making noises. Um, yes, it was always kind of confusing when I was little. Well, even to this day, because I live in England and Great Britain and the United Kingdom, to this day, I'm never 100% sure which one of those I should be looking for in the drop-down menu of countries when filling in forms and shipping and things. <laughs> Am I looking under E? Am I looking under G? Am I looking under U? Um, FYI, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's U, um, which is easy because you can just scroll right to the bottom. But uh, yeah, it was kind of confusing when I was younger. Like, what's the difference between England and Great Britain and the United Kingdom? Obviously, I found out when I was at school um, and I know now. Would you like to know? Are you interested? Probably not. I'll tell you another time. <laughs> so I'm now adding the red to the white I've obviously cured the white as we've gone um, the on the flag the red or is it the white uh, should know this have painted this flag many times but the red no white I think it's the red so the red <laughs> on the diagonal cross on the Scotland cross which is a sideways like an X 
Um, the red bits on the sides of those are on, see that one on the right there. It's further to that side. It's further to the right on each arm if you're looking at the arm straight on. So that one's to the right and the up, but it just didn't paint very nicely. So I just filled it in um, because that, you know, you can still tell what it is, but there are, I don't know if it's the red or the, it doesn't matter because I haven't done it. So I'm just going to shut up. Well, not completely because we're not finished yet. <laughs> I've cured that and I'm now writing GB in black. Um, if you do this set, then I'm afraid you just have to do a Union Jack and... Uh, GB. I'm kidding. You can do your own country, of course, but obviously I am Team DG. Nope, that's the Diamond Glitters discount code. <laughs> team GB. <laughs> Diamond Glitters in the Olympics. Um, and then I'm just, again, I, so I started off doing them thin and then I'm just going to make them thick and then pop that in the lamp. And I think we're at sort of topping, topping stage now, which is good because it's half 10 in the evening and I aimed to upload at 8 p.m. so we're running a little bit behind um, and then yes so I'm taking make it matte here and I'm going to go over the whole thing because you can put shiny top coat on top of matte because it's got a more textured surface but you don't want to put matte on top of shiny because it's just not really got much to grip on so I've done both of those with matte we go back to them in a sec. Um, this one is having diamond gloss all over. This one's going to be shiny. And then it looks like that's really odd, the odd one out. But it does kind of tie in when they're all together, I think. Um, and then I'm taking diamond gloss and going over the bits I want shiny, which I think is everything apart from the background. And now I'm kind of thinking, was it worth it doing that? You could just go over the whole thing with shiny, um, but I just wanted the, um, especially the, the, oh my goodness me, where are the words? Foil, there we go, gold foil. I wanted that to stand out. So I'm going to go over that, the torch and the flames and the stripes in diamond gloss, and then I'll do the same on the um, metal one, or have we done that? I am paying attention. I just, I've been doing this voiceover for about two hours. I know. I won't even explain why or how it takes two hours to do a 30 minute voiceover, but it does. It does for me anyway, <laughs> because I know I sound like I'm rambling and, and not making sense much of the time and my thoughts go from one thing to another really quickly. Um, that's the edited version, I know. Uh, I don't want to put anyone through what a straight single take voiceover would be. I'd only now be talking about putting white as the main base colour. So this is filtered rambling, would you believe it? I hope you're all okay. Are you all okay? Let me know how you are in the comments. I like chatting to you. If I don't reply as quickly as I used to, it's just because obviously there's more comments. Um, and some days I have given myself one day a week where I just don't even look at YouTube. I don't do any, well, that's a lie because I'm still filming and editing and whatever. I'm doing diamond gloss over the this nail. I probably should have used super gloss, to be honest, um, but I didn't, so. Um, and this is the whole set. I can't remember what I was saying just now, but I hope you're all okay. And uh, I do try and get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you like this set. Let me know if you recreate them. I'd love to see them. So at me on Instagram if you do. You can follow Miss Joe's Nail Co. on Instagram. And please subscribe for lots more videos. I appreciate you being here so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. -bye.